guys welcome back to storybook crochet in today's video we are going to be making a dinosaur diaper cover so this is what this will look like I have also made a video on how to make the hat and I have a video on how to make the um, dinosaur baby booties so I will link those both in the description below so to get started for today the materials you'll need are a worsted yarn in a light green an orange and a dark green okay you're going to need an F hook you're going to need a yarn needle some scissors you might need a stitch counter and then you're going to need a little bit of fiber fill to stuff the tail portion of our diaper cover so let's grab all those supplies and we will get going all right, so to get started, you're gonna wanna make your diaper cover. Now I have several videos on different sizes from preemie all the way up to nine months on these. Um, so go ahead and look in the description below and I will have a list of those sizes. Go click on the video you need and make your diaper cover. Once you are finished making that, you're gonna come back to this video and I will show you how to make the spots and the spikes to and the tail to add to your diaper cover so I will see you when you get finished making your diaper cover okay so let's get started with the tail and you're gonna need your green yarn and for each round that we do and we will do a total of 19 rounds I will put the pattern for each round up at the top so you can also read as um, we go along with this so we're going to start with a magic ring and you're going to need your stitch marker to help you keep track of each round. So in your magic ring, you're going to start with six single crochets. Alright, once you have your six made, you're going to just pull that short tail there to close that opening. And that is round one. So for round two, we are going to do two single crochets and then increase in the third. And we'll do that two times. So in your first single crochet, or for, sorry, your first stitch, you're going to make one single crochet. You're going to single crochet in the next. And then you're going to increase or put two single crochets in the third stitch. All right, and then you're going to do that one more time. So one single crochet, one single crochet, and then increase in that last stitch. And that will give you a total of eight single crochets made for round two. So at this point, I go ahead and start using my stitch marker. For round three, we're going to do the same pattern, but this time we're going to do three single crochets. So one, two, three, and then we're going to increase in the fourth stitch. So we'll put two single crochets in that fourth stitch. And then we're going to repeat that one more time. So three single crochets and then increase in the fourth. Okay, so that is round three. For round four, we're going to repeat that again, except this time we're doing four single crochets and then increase. So make your four single crochets around one, two, three, and four, and then increase in that fifth stitch. And then repeat that one more time. So four single crochets and then increase in the last stitch. If at any point I'm going too fast for you, all you have to do is just pause it until you get caught up 
and then hit play and then we'll continue along together. All right, so that was round four and we have a total of 12 single crochets around. For round five, we're going to do five single crochets and then increase. So after round five, you will have a total of 14 uh, single crochets made. All right, so we're done doing the increase um, rounds like that for right now. So for round six, we're going to start with a decrease. So over these first two stitches, we're going to make them into one. So insert your hook and pull your yarn through. Insert your hook through the next stitch, pull your yarn through. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. So we made those first two stitches into one stitch. So we did a decrease. Next, we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. Okay, if you made your five, after that, you're going to make an increase. So put two single crochets in that next stitch. Once we have that increase made, we're just going to continue to single crochet around the rest of the round. So that should be six single crochets. Alright, after round six, you should have, again, a total of 14 single crochets. So for round seven, we're going to go back to our increase round, and this time we're going to do six single crochets and then increase in the seventh stitch. So after those six, make your increase, and then you're going to repeat that again. So six single crochets, and then increase in the last stitch. Alright, after round seven, you'll have a total of 16 single crochets. So for round eight, again, we're going to start with a decrease. So make your decrease over the first two stitches. Alright, after the decrease, you're going to make seven single crochets. Okay, after your seven, you're then going to make an increase. All right, once you have your increase, you're going to just single crochet one in each of the next uh, six stitches to the end of the round.
Okay, so that was 16 stitches total for round eight. For round nine, we're going to do seven single crochets and then increase in the eighth stitch. All right, so at the end of round nine, you will have a total of 18 single crochets. So you can kind of start to see the shape of the tail that we're making here. That's what that will look like. So for round, let's see what round, we're round, round 10, we're going to, this time we're gonna still increase, but this time we're gonna start with five single crochets and then increase in the sixth. So make your five single crochets around. Make your increase. And then you'll repeat that what, two more times. Okay, at the end of round 10, you will have a total of 21 single crochets. Okay, so the next uh, couple of rounds are gonna be a little bit um, more decreases and increases. So we're going to start round 11 with six single crochets. So we'll go ahead and make your six. Okay, after you make your six, you're gonna go ahead and make an increase. Once your increase is done, you're gonna make six single crochets. All right, we're gonna make another increase after those six. All right, next we're going to make five single crochets. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a decrease over the last two stitches. Okay, so after round 11, you have 22 single crochets. All right, so for round 12, we're going to start with a decrease this time. So make your decrease over the first two stitches. Okay, and next we're going to make seven single crochets. After you make your seven, make an increase. And once you have that increase done, you're going to now crochet, single crochet four. All 
right, once you've had that, made those four, you're going to increase again. And then after that, you're going to make seven single crochets to the end of the round. So that finishes round 12 and you should have a total of 23 single crochets. All right, so for round 13, we're gonna start off with 11 single crochets. So just make your first 11 single crochets around. Okay, once you've made your 11, you're going to increase. And then after that increase, you're gonna make 11 more single crochets and that'll take you to the end of the round. Alright, so at the end of round 13, you will have 24 single crochets. So for round 14, we will be doing 7 single crochets and then increase, and we'll repeat that pattern around. So make your 7. and then increase in that eighth stitch. You'll just keep, keep repeating that until we get to the end of the round. So that finishes off round 14 and you'll have 27 single crochets. For round 15, we're gonna start with one single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to decrease over the next two stitches. So one single crochet in the first stitch and then decrease. All right, after the decrease, we're going to make 12 single crochets around. Right, once you've made those 12, you're gonna make an increase. And then after the increase, you're gonna make 11 single crochets to the end of the round. So for the end of round 15, we will have 27 stitches again. 
so for to start round 16 we're going to make 10 single crochets After your 10 single crochets, you're going to increase. And then after the increase, you're going to make six single crochets. All right, after those six, you're gonna increase again. And then once you have your increase made, you're going to single crochet in the last nine stitches. So for after round 16, you will have a total of 29 stitches made. We have three rounds to go. If you are making the preemie diaper cover size, this might be a good spot for you to stop if you want that little bit smaller of a tail. Or you can do another round or two. It just depends on your preference. So for round 17, we're going to start with one single crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to decrease over the next two. So again, one single crochet and then decrease. After that decrease, we're gonna make eight single crochets. All right, once you have your eight single crochets made, you're gonna increase. And then after that increase, you're gonna make nine single crochets. All right, after the nine, you're gonna increase again. And then after that increase, you're going to uh, single crochet in the last seven stitches. Okay, so you can see our, our tail shape is coming along nicely and we have two rounds to go. So at the end of round 17, you'll have a total of 30 stitches. So to start round 18, we're going to do nine single crochets and then increase in the 10th. So make your nine. in the next one and then you're just going to repeat that pattern around for the rest of this round so nine single crochets and then increase At the end of round 18, you will have a total of 33 
single crochets and we have one round to go. So to start off round 19, you're gonna start with six single crochets. All right, after those six, you're gonna make an increase. All right, so next we're going to do four single crochets. And then you're gonna increase in the fifth stitch. We're gonna repeat that three more times. So you're gonna do four single crochets and then increase. So again, repeat that three more times. Once you have that, that part done, the four and then the increase, you're going to just single crochet in the last six stitches. All right, and that will finish off our tail. So go ahead and slip stitch in that last stitch there and then you'll just cut your yarn and finish that off and we'll just set this aside and we're going to next make the spots and the spikes like you see here on the hat so grab your dark green and your orange and then we will get started on those all right we're going to move on next to the spikes so that's what these look like here on the hat for the diaper cover we are going to make three spikes for that so go ahead and make a magic circle again, or a magic ring. And round one is going to be six single crochets. All right, go ahead and pull that closed. We are not going to slip stitch on this one, we're just gonna keep working in the round. So this is where your stitch marker will come in handy. All right, so we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch for round two. So go ahead and make your one single crochet and then we're gonna increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to single crochet and then we're gonna increase. All right, and then do that one more time. Single crochet, and then increase. So we just added three um, increases to our round, so we now have nine total stitches. And you're gonna wanna kinda pop that out to start making the tip of the spike. All right, so for round two, we're gonna do two single crochets so one and then two and then we're going to increase in the third stitch all right one two increase in the third stitch and then you'll do that one more time And that finishes off round three with a total of 12 single crochets. So at this point, I'm gonna cut this middle tail just so that's out of my way. All right, so round four is our last increase round. We're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three, and then increase in the fourth stitch.
All right, so that finishes off round four, and we will have a total of 15 single crochets. All right, so round five, we're just going to single crochet, one single crochet in each stitch around. So just put one in each stitch all the way around. And again, for this round, you will have a total of 15 single crochets, and this is our last round. All right, so that finishes off our spike. So we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch in that very next stitch. And then we're gonna cut a long tail so that we can sew it onto our hat. All right, so that is what your spike should look like. Okay, so we're gonna start and make the small spots first. So you're gonna wanna start a magic ring and in this magic ring, you're going to make five single crochets. All right, once you make your five, you're going to pull that um, short tail to close the opening. And then you're gonna slip stitch to the very first single crochet that you made. All right, and that is all we do for the small spot. So go ahead and cut a longer tail. We'll use that to sew it on. And then I go ahead and cut that short tail off the back just to get that out of the way. So that is the small spot. All right, next will be the medium size spot. So again, you're gonna start with a magic ring. And in this magic ring, you're going to put eight half double crochets. Once you have your eight made, go ahead and close that opening and slip stitch to the first stitch. All right, cut your longer tail for sewing. Go ahead and pull that through. cut that shorter tail off. All right, so one more size spot is going to be the large spot. And you can always add more if you want. So make your magic ring, but this time we're gonna chain two. All right, so now we're going to make 10 double crochets in our magic ring. Okay, once you have your 10, close that opening. All right, and you're gonna slip stitch to the very first double crochet that you made. Cut your tail. And then 
and cut that tail off the back. All right, now that we have everything made, we're gonna grab our yarn needle and our tail and get that sewn on first. So you're gonna wanna flip your diaper cover over to the back and then figure out kind of where you want your positioning to be. I'll show you kind of from that angle. And then before we start that, you're gonna wanna stuff it with a little bit of fiber fill. I don't make mine like super full, like too hard, you know? Um, but you want it to stand up good, so just a little bit of fiber fill in there. That's about all I do, and then find my positioning. And you can always use um, some pins and stuff to hold it in place for you. And then I just go around, Let's see if you can see this good. Go around the bottom edge of your tail and sew it onto your diaper cover. Just like that. Keep going around until you get the whole thing sewn on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward to the next part, but go ahead and finish sewing on your tail and make sure you weave in your ends when you're finished. You can always add more fiber fill as you go if you think you need some more. So I will see you in a moment and we will sew on our spots and our spikes. Okay, so now that we have the tail on, we're going to go ahead and sew on our spines and our spots. So I'm going to start with a spot. I'm just going to show you how to sew one of each on and then I'll put up some photos to show you um, where I put the placement of each of these at so that you can recreate that if you want or you can just sew them on wherever you think looks good. So you're just going to simply just crochet around and I go through kind of the, the front loop here of my spots and again do that with the spine as well and just kind of crochet around or you can do the back loop or you can do both loops whichever you know whichever your preference is on sewing these on. just keep sewing around until you get back to the beginning and then you'll just weave in your ends and cut that off and that's all you do and then just keep sewing those on until you have all your spots in place so again I'm going to show you um, a photo here in a minute after I show you the spike um, so you can look at that to sew your spots on and get them in the same spot if that's where you want them. Just to show you an example. Alright, so there's one spot. That's the large one and then I just sew them on, you know, kind of like this configuration on the front so it kind of matches the hat. Alright, so the spikes, you're going to do the same thing but I start up here at the very top and then here and then here. So you've got all three kind of in a row like like that so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that photo up so just sew the spikes on just like you did with the spots but here's the photos of this and that is how um, your diaper cover should look or you know kind of like what you want it to look like but you can put the spots and stuff wherever you want so go ahead and sew those on and then we'll meet back when you you are finished Alright, so this is our finished diaper cover with our finished hat. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that um, like button. And also, if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, you will see future um, videos that I post as soon as they are available. So thanks for joining me. And if you want, go ahead and comment in the video below and let me know what colors you made your diaper cover. I will see you in the next video.